What's up, what's up, it's your man Jimmy Chan. All right, so we ha are looking for the distance between two points. Now, here's the thing, guys. You know, one of the things is that you're like, whoa, I gotta remember the distance formula. So much things to remember. Well, here's the thing. If I was to just plot these two points, okay? So let's go and plot these two points. All right, I don't need to make it that, that long here. Here's my X and my Y, right? I got seven, four, so two, four, six, seven, negative four, so it's right here, right? And I have negative five, two, 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 four, negative five, negative two. So I have this distance that I'm looking for, right? So that's the distance I'm looking for, right? And you can notice, look at what I have here. Do I not have a right triangle? Now, you can sit there going, well, what if I did this instead? Okay, you could do that too, right? That is still appropriate. The only reason why I would draw on top before is because the D was written on the bottom. So now I just move it to the top, right? So because I have a right triangle, don't I have A squared plus B squared equals C squared? Do, not, do I not have the Pythagorean theorem, right? So the important part is that the C has to be the hypotenuse, which in this case is going to be D because it's opposite of the right angle. The A and the B is going to be my legs. So if you look at this right here, isn't this two, right? There's two blocks right there, so it's two. How about the horizontal line there? Well, let's see here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I had to move twelve spaces. Okay, so so this is twelve spaces. All right. So why don't we go ahead and do two squared plus twelve squared is equal to d squared. All right. So the distance is going to be taking the square root of that side as well, right? So I can go, okay, so here's my square root of this thing right here. Boom, there we go. All right. So what's d going to equal to? Well, d is going to equal to the square root of 4 plus 144 which is the square root of 148. Well, okay, let's break down the square root of 148. I like this radical better. So let me bring this down. So let's see here, 144, two goes into it 74 times, two goes into 74, actually let me do it this way, 148, two goes into it 74 times, two goes into it 37 times. So it's going to be two times two times 37, and 37 can't be broken down anymore, but I do have a pair right here. So this is going to equal to 2 square root of 37. And that is going to be choice C. And there we go. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. See ya. Bye.